Hi guys, it's Jess and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here today and I am back with another book tag. You guys know I love to do book tag videos. I love watching book tag videos. I love doing book tag videos and I haven't done one in a while actually. And I've seen this one floating around quite a lot in the last few weeks. This is the answers can't be books tag. So as I've just said, I've seen this tag floating around quite a lot recently. A lot of other booktubers that I follow um, have been doing this tag. I wasn't tagged in it, but I thought I would just have a go myself because why not? It seems kind of fun and we get to talk about something that's not books for a change. So uh, without further ado, we're going to jump straight in to the questions. So the first question is, what is something that you own way too many of other than books? I have a lot of stickers. I like to journal and do artsy things like that. And when it comes to journaling, I love to just stick stickers in my journals. So I have a lot of stickers. I don't know how many I have, um, but you know, I, I do have a lot. I, I love to collect stickers. I also have a lot of socks. I'm a sock person. I love fluffy socks, colorful socks, odd socks. You know, I've just got a lot of socks and Every time people buy me them for birthday or for Christmas, I'm so happy because, you know, I've got something to keep my feet warm and something to express myself with as well. I love wearing like colourful, wacky socks. I don't know why, but I always have. And I think that's just part of my personality. So, yeah, socks definitely have loads of those. <laughs> so question two is what is something that you do for fun that's not reading a book? So as I just mentioned I like to journal. Journaling is something that I've done on and off for quite a few years but I've picked it back up recently and I've been doing it you know quite a lot um, in the last few months. I really enjoy being able to express myself, being able to be creative and to write down my thoughts and feelings and just have a safe space where I can, you know, express myself without fear of being judged or criticised and things like that. So I really like journaling. I also really like walking. I haven't been walking a lot recently just because the weather has been awful. But now that the weather is starting to get nicer again I'm excited to go back out and explore I love walking around my village and in particular this um little country park that is um like smack bang in the middle of my village and a few others and it's just really nice there's lots of lakes and trees and um things like that nature trails that you can explore so I'm looking forward to going out and walking again. I also like watching movies and TV um, my boyfriend especially loves watching you know the latest movies on Netflix and whatever um, so we have movie nights together um, or we tend to uh, watch a series together on Netflix or Disney Plus or whatever. I don't really watch a lot of TV these days, but you know, there are certain things that I do watch um, when it comes to Netflix and Disney Plus, like all the Marvel shows and Doctor Who and things like that. So yeah, I like watching those, but I, I tend to watch them with my boyfriend, not really on my own. So question three is, what is something special or important on your nightstand that is not a book? I've got a glass of water on my nightstand always, which is important because you want to stay hydrated during the night and I get thirsty a lot during the night. So it's always important for me to have my water. Also, my glasses stay on my nightstand. I have to wear glasses now, which is fun. Um, so they stay on my nightstand and they're there ready for me in the morning. It's important that I have those, otherwise I I can't see very well. 
but I also have a picture of me and my grandma in a lovely little frame on my nightstand. I just, yeah, I love having that picture. I've also got a picture of me and my granddad um, in my living room and yeah, then I've got me and my grandma on my nightstand. Question four, what's something that you buy at a bookstore other than books? See, I don't really buy other things from bookstores other than books. I've bought a few gift cards from bookstores before and I know I've bought a few like notebooks, stationary bits and pieces, um, but yeah, <laughs> I don't really go into a bookstore um, with the intention of not buying a book, you know, I usually um, end up just buying books. Um, but yeah, stationery definitely, notebooks definitely, um, maybe a birthday card every now and then, Waterstones sometimes have a collection of birthday cards and things that you can buy, I don't know. <laughs> Question five is, what's a fun gift that you've received that wasn't a book or a gift card for books? Um, I've had a lot of pop toys gifted to me over the years, I think my favourite one is um this set of four um marvel pop toys that i got at christmas a year before last um and i think there's like Groot and thanos and captain america i think captain america is a penguin i can't remember but they've all got like festive jumpers on or lights or decorations and i thought that was really cool i have received a lot of pop toys and i always love them um i'm trying to think what what other cool things have i received uh my fitbit definitely my boyfriend got me this uh for christmas a year or so ago and this has been you know one of the my favorite gifts um because it does a lot of things you know it tracks my steps and my heart rate and it tells me how active i'm being and i've always wanted one um, and I think it's pretty cool. It also connects to my phone so I can control my Spotify from here. You know, I can um, answer calls from here and see who's texted me. I can read emails. So yeah, it's a pretty cool gift this. I'm really happy with it. Uh, question six is what's a YouTube channel that you watch that's not related to books? So I have a few actually, but there's like three main channels that I watch um, religiously at the moment. One is um, Jay Swanson. Um, he's been doing YouTube for quite a few years now and he uh, lives in Paris um, and he vlogs about his life in Paris, um, which is where I have got a lot of my uh, Parisian knowledge from um, and where my obsession with Paris has come from because before that I wasn't really that um, into Paris and France but yeah I really love watching his vlogs and he was like the first YouTuber that I really became interested in. Another channel that I watch is um, Exploring with Josh, um, he's uh, a YouTuber who explores a lot of like abandoned places in the world. He travels all over the world and he just, you know, explores abandoned places like hospitals or schools or um, asylums. But he's also done some like paranormal stuff as well. And I don't know how much of that is legit, but I don't really care because it's quite entertaining, you know. And then the other channel that I watch at the moment, which <laughs> I've only just recently stumbled across, like in the last couple of months, um, but I've become really fascinated with, is uh, the Institute of Human Anatomy. So it's these two guys who work um, in a medical school and they just teach you about the human body, but with real human bodies, like real dead bodies. And the reason why I stumbled across this channel was because there was this video that they'd made about how they store and look after their cadavers in the lab and I just clicked on it because I, I have this morbid fascination with death um, but their videos are actually really interesting and I highly recommend them if you are interested in the human body and biology and 
things like that it's not going to be for everybody but i will say that it's it's not gory at all like you know it's weird like you kind of disassociate from the fact that it is a person or was a person yeah um but i really love their channel and i have learned a lot about the human body that i was never taught about in school so i've been watching a lot of their videos recently as well all right and the last question is to tag five booktubers that you want to learn more about so i'm not going to tag anyone because i think um all the people that i can think of have already done this video um but i'm gonna tag you guys now if you're watching this then I'm tagging you to do this video. I'd love to hear more about you guys and the things that you're interested in outside of books. Um, but I'm going to wrap this video up here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned a little bit more about me. Feel free to leave comments down below. Let me know any of the answers uh, to these questions. Um, I always love to hear what you guys have to say. Uh, you can leave a cheeky thumbs up because uh, it always helps with the channel. If you want to, you can also subscribe to my channel and you can hit the bell button so you will be notified every single time I upload. And having said all of that, I will see you all in my next video very soon. Bye guys.